What's up, y'all? It's your boy Joe on the Segway. Look, today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use your Garmin watch with your Insta360 Ace and Ace Pro cameras. Um, you can use the telemetry data given from your Garmin watch and your Apple watches, but this one is just for the Garmin watch, okay? But um, this is, this video, I'm just going to kind of show you guys how everything looks when you use the telemetry data from your Garmin watch. Now, a cool thing about using your Garmin watch is if you have a heart rate monitor, and it doesn't have to be a Garmin heart rate monitor. Um, if you, you just have a heart rate monitor, that you'll connect to your Garmin watch, and everything that your Garmin watch gets information from, and everything that your Garmin watch calculates as a watch, it'll save to the Garmin Connect app, and then the Garmin Connect app will talk to the Insta360 app and say, hey, look, this is what I got, and this is the time that I got it at. And the Insta360 app will receive that data and say, hey, well, I have, a ca I have camera footage that was working around the exact same time frame. It automatically timestamps the footage together and puts allows you to get the telemetry data from your Garmin watch to your actual Insta360 Ace Pro footage, which is really cool. This video has a little bit of a mixture of a couple of things, but um, check it out. Okay, so with the Garmin watch, if you guys want to change the Garmin watch so that if you're walking, bicycling, or running, anything where the speeds are lower and your, and your acceleration isn't extreme, it is okay to have your Garmin watch satellite set up to be like on automatic. How do you do that? Well, you want to look for your settings. So I'm going to, oh, good morning. I'm going to go for my settings. Yeah, we'll exit the morning report. Holding down the top left button on this Enduro. You got three buttons here on the left side. I'm going to hold that top left button until I get the setting menu. Okay, hit settings. Scroll all the way down to the bottom to system. And you're going to scroll down until you see satellites. All right. And hit satellites. And these are all your different satellite settings that your watch will currently be on, depending on which one you select. You can do auto select if you're walking, running or bicycling because the speeds and acceleration is a lot more linear. If you're going to be doing something like riding your motorcycle, driving your car, riding your electric scooter, EUC, something that's a little bit more higher speed, you want to make sure you select it to all multi-band increased accuracy. That is going to be the mode you want to set it to. Now, right now, I'm going to heart rate monitor on. That is the Garmin heart rate monitor. And um, I usually use that anytime I go for a walk or a run or a bicycle ride. I usually put the heart rate monitor on. Because the heart rate monitor is connected to my Garmin watch, everything that my Garmin watch records or pulls information from will be in this video. So my heart rate right now is probably at, let's see, let's see how accurate it is actually. I'll find, okay, so it's at 124 right now, beats per minute. And it says easy. I don't know if you guys can see that. You should be able to see that. And so that should be on the screen right now, right? You see that? Just so you guys can see the latency differences. We got 129. I'm kind of going uphill right now, so it should be going up. Now I'm in the anaerobic stage. Back down to easy. Something about this camera is when it's windy outside, even though you have wind reduction on, the freaking audio sucks on this camera. It just sucks. And that's okay because, uh, <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> There's ways around it. You can get like dead cats that can actually, you can kind of shove inside of the microphone holes to give you a little bit of extra buffering. You can also use your editing software, okay? I use a software called Kinemaster, all right? You guys may or may not have never heard of them. It's an Android app. I think they also have it on the iOS store. So I use this to program, I mean, to, to edit my videos. My videos are, um, I've been doing this for years using Kinemaster and they just released a plugin that allows you to take out the ambient noises from the video. So the next 20 seconds of this video, I'm gonna give you guys a sample on how good of a job that actually does. Now, to unlock all the features, there is a yearly subscription of like $49.99 or something like that. I do not have any codes to give you guys any discounts. Hell, they don't even know I'm even saying this. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. So, um, but I've been using them for years and um, I really like it. So that's another work way around. If you guys use Adobe Premiere Pro and you guys are, if you're using Adobe, you're probably a professional, you know, video editor anyways. But if you're using DaVinci, and I'm sure there's other ones out there that may have a noise reduction um, 
feature in them so you don't get all the noise. But anyways, I'm gonna let you guys hear it. So that is your workaround. From the wind or whatever, um, I don't recommend doing it unless you're like an expert at it or you have experience doing it, but you could damage the microphones. Um, I think that's all I got for now. I'm gonna continue this walk. This should be like a 10 or 11 mile walk. I'm not really sure how far I'm gonna walk. I think I'm gonna do five miles out and go back. So uh, without further ado, back to the studio. Before I take you guys to the studio, you guys can see the heart rate. That's live heart rate feed right now from the heart rate monitor. That's what we're looking like. So we'll see how accurate it is compared to the screen when you guys are watching this back. All right, we out of here. So we got the Garmin watch going on here. Something you guys didn't know about a lot of the new line of Garmin watches, and this is 2023, okay? I think they started coming out with these in 2022, but they got a flashlight feature. Best thing on the planet, my guys. So right here, we got this off the Enduro 2. This is the brightest setting. Um, it's actually really, really good. Uh, I find myself using this in the car. I use this during my walks, like right now. Uh, if I'm going in a dark spot and I need a little quick light, I just double tap the top left button on the watch and the light comes on. This is really, really cool. It can flash red, it can do strobe lighting. So when you're walking, you can go into settings and set up like, hey, if I'm walking and you're navigating me, I want the, uh, I want the Garmin to flash a red light when my arm swings back and then do a white strobe when it goes forward. Like this is like super cool. Um, like I told you guys, the Enduro 2 watch, in my opinion, is one of the best Garmin watches if you need longevity. If you're gonna be out in the sticks for a while and you need you a, um, and you need you a watch that's gonna last a long time, this is your watch. Like this probably has one of the longest battery lives of any any smartwatch. So um, let's go inside, get the footage off the camera and see what happens. All right, next step is to stop your recording. So how do you do that on a Garmin watch? The top right button here on this watch in particular, I'm gonna press it once. It's gonna stop, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, boom, you got resume, you got save. I'm gonna press this button to select it. Boom, saving. Now what this is doing is it is saving the information, everything that I've done, it is saving it to the Garmin Connect app. So you see, my activity is ready to review on the Garmin Connect app. That is the icon for the Garmin Connect app. I'm gonna press this button and I'm gonna dismiss this whole activity. And now let's go to the Insta360 app. From here, there's only a few things left to do. Download the Insta360 app. If you haven't, sign up, make an account. I usually will tell people to use their YouTube YouTube names, whatever your channel name is, create a Gmail account for that, an email Gmail account. Use that for your Insta360 app. Same thing for your Garmin Connect app. You have to download the Garmin Connect app. Do the same thing, use your YouTube channel, okay? If that's what you're gonna do, if you're gonna start a YouTube channel, use your channel email and make that your email username or whatever for your actual Garmin Connect and Insta360 apps. Once you get those two guys all connected up, you're gonna go on ahead and turn your camera on. You wanna go right back into your Insta360 app after connecting your Garmin Connect app to your Insta360 app. You wanna make sure your Wi-Fi is on so that when you press that button in the bottom on the middle with the, with the camera and a Wi-Fi symbol, your camera can be found and all you got to do is press connect. You're going to find your video with your telemetry data. You'll pause the video real quick. Okay. You see on the bottom, it says stats. You press that once and then boom, you have three different types of telemetry data. And when I talk about types, I'm about styles, you got classic, you got racing, Racing looks pretty cool in my opinion. If you look at the racing one here, and we're gonna press the select the speedometer, you can make these things larger and smaller by pressing on the bottom right corner where the little round part is, little ball. If you hold your finger or your stylus pen, depending on what type of device you're using on that, and then you drag it, you can make it larger and smaller. Now you see right there, inside the, the speedometer, 
you see it's got zero all the way to 120 kilometers per hour. If you look on the bottom right, but not extreme bottom right, but there's a little box there just above distance. It says kilometers per hour. If you press it, it'll change to miles per hour. Apparently, 80 miles per hour was about the fastest or 72 miles per hour was the fastest I've gone in this video. And it'll the speedometer will always show the numbers relative to the maximum speed you've reached during your video to kind of make it to emulate, you know, making your video look a little more exciting and like, oh my gosh, it's going as fast, blah, blah, blah. You can add whatever telemetry data. All you got to do is press the ones, right? You got futuristic. This is what futuristic looks like. You select what data fields you want to be in your video. And then if you, you press the little check button on the bottom right corner, after you press that, you got export. You press export once. You select which way you want to save. It says save to device album. If I press the Insta360 icon, it says save, share to the community and it'll do so on and so on and so on. You can select all any one of those social media platforms to save this video to or share the video to. But if you press the very first one to the far left, it'll save to device album. Now I've made a video on this for Insta360 to check out as to why I've recorded this in 4K 30 frames per second, but it's only allowing me to export in 1080p. If you press custom, you can see 1080p is the maximum resolution. It allows me to, uh, to, to save it in when I've recorded it in 4K 30 frames per second. But if you, you go on ahead and select 1080p at the moment until Insta360 actually makes the correction, and then you press export, and then it'll save this video to your device. All right, people, so that's all I got for today, man. I just wanted to show you guys how to actually use the Garmin watch to give telemetry data to your actual Insta360 Ace and Ace Pro videos. Um, like I told you guys, go on ahead and just follow the tutorial when I showed you guys how to actually set up the satellite so for max accuracy. And then, like I said, if you're not gonna be using it for road, riding a motorcycle, driving a car or something like that, something that moves a lot faster, then you can put the satellites on auto select. That actually saves your battery. The watch will tell you that. Apple guys, I don't have an Apple watch. So I couldn't tell you exactly how to use it, but, um, if you know your Apple software, you'll I think you'll kind of figure it out. It's a lot easier than you think. All you have to do is make sure whatever watch you're using, whether it's the Apple Watch or the any Garmin watch that has GPS data that can track you and stuff like that, as as long as it's recording something, something that can save to whatever app your actual phone, your actual watch saves the data to. For the Garmin, it'll be the Garmin Connect app. So it saves the data to the Garmin Connect app. So you just make sure that you're recording it and then you save the recording. So it'll upload it to the Garmin Connect app and then all the video footage that you record on your Ace Pro, it gets time stamped from the Ace Pro to the Insta360 app. The Insta360 app takes the time stamp from the Garmin Connect app, from the watch footage, I mean, from the watch information and uh, it syncs them up together. It's actually really, really cool. So um, anyways, if you guys like the video, like at the button, hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I've been messing around with this camera for a while now. I had it since the second week it came out and um, I've been making videos and messing with it and trying to figure out things I like about it, things I didn't like about it. Um, I've been coming up with a question and answer type video that I just haven't put it out yet. Um, if you guys have any questions, fire it off in the comments below. And uh, let me know what you think, man. Let me know, let me know, let me know. And um, so far, I've been liking this camera, guys. There's a lot of people being very controversial on this camera, talking about, oh, it's not good at this, it's not that, and this, this, and this, and that. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty fun camera to use. Right now, in my opinion, that is the most fun camera I have. You know, I got the GoPro, I got uh, the Insta3, I got the DJI cameras, I got three Insta360 cameras now. And, um, I'm having a lot of fun with this camera. It's just, it's interesting. So I'm going to keep messing around with it. You guys are going to have to fire off what you have for me as far as questions go. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Please believe. All right. The next video is going to be whatever I make it. All right. Jay on the segment, man. Thanks for watching. Peace.